Hello and welcome! This is Megasplute. Today I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks in Dungeon Draft that you might not be aware of. If you want to make a circular wall using the wall tool, you can click and drag out a diagonal following along the tiles and then hold down shift until the line is magenta. Click once and then move to the corner where the horizontal and vertical lines of the grid meets and right click to end it make an arc if you would like to continue drawing after the arc say for a coliseum instead of right clicking after you've made the magenta line you would left click on the corner and then continue the process so again hold down shift and then left click instead of right click and now you can continue repeat this process until you've completed your shape. You can close it by left clicking the very end. If it turns green it means that it will complete the loop. And now you have the wall resembling a coliseum. If you want to save some time decorating your map, you can use the scatter tool and select multiple items of the similar type. So I'm going to make a lot of crystals here. You can either click the first item and hold down shift to select them all and you can see how it would draw. Or you can select one and then hold control and individually select which ones you would like to include in the scatter tool. Now I would actually turn off snap and lower the spread a little bit and this should draw lots of them in different orientations. And now you can actually go to the custom color and select multiple colors that you like to be represented in your crystals. So let's get a wide variety of colors and start painting. And you can see how this could save you a lot of time. If you would like to be a little bit more precise while still retaining the benefits of the scatter tool, you can single click these items and also hold down shift and scroll the wheel up and down cycle through different variations if you don't like the next one when you're looking to decorate your buildings you might already know that if you click this gray area here you can drop down a list of tag sets to choose from to help you decorate so if you want to make a tavern you can choose the tavern set and see that the library has a curated list of objects that you can choose from. What you might not know, however, is that you can actually amend or create a custom set on the fly by clicking these tags manually. And then, like the scatter tool, you can control click to select multiple of these tags. So say if you want a magic forest you might go down here choose bush select magic by control clicking magic control clicking mushrooms and um, perhaps some thorns and trees and vines and now if you look at the set you're going to have something that is reasonable to decorate a magical forest with what if you just want to make a flat colored shape uh, you would go to design and go to the pattern shape tool and select the X pattern. It means draw nothing. And then choose the style of shape you want. If you want a rectangle, just drag out a rectangle. If you want to make a custom shape, select th the thing that looks like a heart. And you can draw any whichever shape that you want. You can also go to the color to adjust what kind of color you want in your shape. What if you know that your players are going to be heading to this place during sunset? You might want to change the mood by going to effects, environment, lowering the lighting to a sunset mood, something orange, and then you can then proceed to go use the previous trick in the pattern shape tool and draw 
a darker shape with a little opacity. So black is something like 100. And draw long shadows for the buildings. What if you have a map where you need a vegetable garden and you've actually already made it in another map and you don't want to recreate it? Well, there's a chance that you can use your other map. Go to Select Tool, select the vegetable garden, hit Control C, and then go back to your previous map and then go to the Select Tool and hit Control V to have it be pasted in from one map to the other. You can actually also share this through text between your friends as well. What if you have some images that you want to use just one time on the map so it's not worth making a custom pack for? Well, you can actually select it. If it's a PNG, it, it's important that it needs to be a PNG. Drag and drop right onto the dungeon draft window. Now this can bloat the map save size, so just be aware of that. The last tip is more about raising awareness of the backup system. So if you've lost the map or you forgot to save for a long time and you closed it, you can go to the menu, open user folder, and navigate to the backup. There should be five minute intervals of backups by default, and you can just find the last one and double click to open it if you wish. That's it, and thank you guys. I hope you found that informative, and uh, forgive me for my weak video editing skills.